What did doing a Zynga zombie blood drive project teach you about doing more effective guerrilla marketing? The, the, the Zynga project was interesting from a guerrilla marketing perspective in that it was one of the more effective uses of digital that we've, that we've seen success, success with in experiential, experiential projects at its core. Right, so you're on the street with 50 zombies walking after a guy who's handing out rhubarb flavored blood, blood pops or hibiscus mint, I think it was. Um, and, and that's great. You love, typically press comes down, takes a bunch of pictures and that goes all over the, the, the internet and whatnot. And that's, that's kind of, that's your thing. And, and, and 150,000 people see it because you walk by 150,000 people. Uh, but... The simple piece of that that we added was these little tiny zombie sticker handouts. And people love zombies for whatever reason. Forget about the game. Forget about Zynga. Forget about all that. They just love zombies. And so we pluck zombie lovers out of the crowd of people that were following or passing this particular thing. And the sticker was a little piece that they could own of that experience and show people and talk about it. Uh, and so we just gently hinted at tweet this or you know, gave them a little hashtag or whatever it is, which is, which is not an uncommon thing, but to the, to the learning from this is sometimes creating a spectacle and just having a few little pieces that can be taken away from it, create a different groundswell in a different place that, that you don't even necessarily need to orchestrate or, and, and control. Everybody has the internet on their phone, or most people do, and certainly in New York City and San Francisco where we did this, they do. And there are going to be pictures. There are going to be things uploaded. There are going to be tweets. There are going to be Facebook posts and, and Instagrams and all, all sorts of things. And uh, I think that the, the challenge with that is now finding all that stuff in the ether, in the, in the world of the internet to be like okay well here's what happened over here and over here and over here and over here and oh wow somebody somebody has a zombie tumbler guess what and they happen to be but like it's very difficult to find all that stuff put it all together and show your client that but back to your question that that digital compo component to that guerrilla campaign i think was the thing we learned the most as to how to how not surprisingly how effective it could be because we've done it in other, in other points, but there wasn't any digital drive to digital, which many of our projects are both experiential and digital at the same time with a substantial digital build. This really was just using the uh, emotional response from the people that, that experienced this to put it out there for us.